Well, we're counting down to the Good Friday derby, one of the Good Friday derbies, of course, St Helens versus Wigan here at the Totally Wicked Stadium, joined by St Helens halfback Lewis Dodd. Lewis, thank you for joining us. Looking forward, I guess, to what will be a fantastic occasion on Friday. Yeah, very looking forward to it. I think all the lads are as well, and, and both teams are. You know, it's been a while since it's been a Good Friday game, and it's been a while since it's been here as well. So, very excited. And as a local lad, you'll know all about it, of course. Were these the games when you were growing up that you wanted to play? Yeah, this is. There's always a bit more atmosphere and intensity around Wigan Saints games, and like I say, especially a good Friday one. So it's one to look forward to. Hey, last season, you kind of came into the team in a bit of a supporting role. This year, very much involved every week. Are you enjoying that responsibility of, of being a key member of this side? Yeah, you know, it, it, so I've got to say thanks to the coaching staff giving me a bit more freedom and a bit more leadership in this team, and you know, it helps having the likes of Johnny and Robes in the side as well. You know it. But yeah, enjoying it. Scully, you know this club inside out. The production line of talent that's keeping people like this journey through is pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And uh, I've had the pleasure of working with Doddy at uh, England Youth in, in, in previous years. And you know, always, always was going to be a you know a, a starting number seven in this club. And probably got his chance, you know, a bit, a bit sooner than than expected. But how's your how's your game kind of changed, developed under under Christian, or have you just carried on as, as obviously as, as you've grown up playing? Uh, sort of, you know. What I had, what was good about me coming through as a young lad, he sort of tried to improve that with the the skills that you need to play week in week out as a half back. You know, with the defence side of it and the kicking side of it and the the control in the game. You know, so it's sort of keeping what was good about me or what's got me to this point, but trying to improve that week in week out stuff as well. Yeah, I think obviously you know working with with Christian and that is he's taking that responsibility of of other players as well as a as a half back and one thing we always knew that you had was uh, was that running game that individual skill you know we've seen it on on numerous occasions you know so far this year but just taking that step back at time and and, and directing play uh, it's something that you've enjoyed yeah i think you know what's good about this team is it everyone on the field is is a threat when they've got the ball on the hand so it's sort of realising that you don't have to have your hands on the ball to influence an attack or or the game or you know there's a lot of skillful skillful players in this side. So it's sort of just applying your skill when you need it, but also encouraging other lads' skill as well. And is it made easier for you as a player who's come through the academy system here to be surrounded by senior players who have done exactly the same journey, the likes of James Roby, Johnny Lomax, Tommy Makinson, who have come into this club at a, lot, at a young age? And are still here, and obviously understand the journey that you're on. Yeah, it's it's very helpful, not so just on the field, but off the field as well. You know, as a young lad coming into this side with the the success that we've had over the past few years, you know, there comes a lot of pressure, and you know, you sort of be insane not to listen and listen to them. You know, with the just the stuff that they can help you with, and like I say, that just that week in week out, getting yourself at the best you can be to play the best you can be. That's been the, the biggest challenge I found this year, but. Like you you got them lads in there, you know, they'll help you along the way. But Scully, it's interesting because obviously we're talking now about this St. Helens team that's been completely dominant in the last few years, one of the best Super League teams we've ever seen. You yourself were part of a not so similar team all those years ago that was dominant and a, a, one of the best Super League teams we've ever seen. What is it about this club? Because even though it reinvents itself, there's new personnel, there's very few people still here that were here when you were, and yet that standard that minimum requirement is still so high. Yeah, I think it's, it's that standard. You know, you mentioned it. It's a standard that you know is expected of people when they sign for this club. You know, and it's it's no surprise as well that you know throughout the great eras they've had great players in in the, the spine of that team. You know, you won six, seven, nine, thirteen, and you know you look at the current current team. You know, you look at Doddy there at, at seven, Johnny at six, Jack Wellsby at, at one. I think you've got a real bond, you three. You know, and that that triangle. You must enjoy. You know, getting out there every uh, every game. Yeah, it's uh, you know it's starting to flourish into something a bit special, but it's just good being with them day in day out. You know what I mean? Having a laugh with them, but then going out there on the park with them that week in week out. You know, helping each other out, and yeah, it's a special thing that we've got at the minute, all of us. But what's Christian like? Because he strikes me as very no nonsense, very hard, very high standards, and yet. At the same time, he also seems to give you guys freedom to play your game and, and do what you see best and play what's in front of you. Yeah, I think, you know, you know what Wolfie's standards are. I think that's his best thing. You know what he requires of you week in, week out, you know, in training and on the field. But I've touched on before, he gives you that freedom as well to express yourself. And I think he gets that balance right of, you know, he knows his standards, but 
he allows people to express themselves as well. Uh, Scully, you mentioned that you've worked with Lewis uh, through the England setup. As someone involved in that setup, it must be exciting for you seeing some of the young young players that are now starting to come through. Yeah, and, and certainly being being involved with the England setup as well. They're, they're the kind of players we we want to see, you know, for for the back end of this year. You know, obviously we've got a big World Cup, another World Cup in in 2025, and you know it's it's the Lewis Dodds of this world that will will get England a, a World Cup win. So, you know, the, the competition is stronger for having homegrown, you know, players like uh, uh, Lewis, and you know, there's some real talent. You know, coming through uh, through Super League at the moment. Have you allowed yourself to think about the World Cup at all? <laughs> no, not really. You know, if I don't play well week in week out, there's not even a talk of me being in the squad. So I've just got to focus on myself and focus doing well for this team. But even without the context of international rugby or World Cup rugby, the games like this on Friday, um, big semi-final coming up. You've obviously got experience of playing in big games before. Does every time you come through one of them almost feel like a? a box ticked in terms of more experience and more smarts yeah definitely you know when as you, any rugby player you know especially a young lad you want to play in, in big games and this is certainly one on friday but yeah sort of i guess you could call it a box ticked you know being able to handle yourself and direct the team around and impose yourself in a game you know it, it certainly does help you mentally going through as a young lad and back to back as well friday and monday looking forward to that yeah i don't think the body is like but uh, you know that's the the requirements of the league and you know that that's my job so we'll get it done well thank you for joining us lewis best of luck this weekend Cheers, enjoy thank you.